Hi mates, so I've been working on a binary logic simulator which was inspired by Minecraft's redstones and torches. So I just thought that why the heck do we need 3D at all and why can't we just do this on the plane, like HTML table in my case. But it turned out that unfortunately, uh, like since <laughs> I'm complete noob in electronics, it turns out that very often we need to cross the wires and uh, this one layered HTML table simply doesn't allow doing that. So, well, obviously, I could have tried to work around this and try and try to add some more layers here. But I realized that if I, it's okay if I had, if I need like two layers, but if I need three or four. So if I just go for something really complicated, so this might not be working. Although I really like how it looks and how it works. So there were quite a few videos demonstrating this is not the topic for this one in particular. But it turns out that it's just not practical to build something even like the set reset latch already requires like the inter uh, interactions intersections of the wires that this particular application is not able to provide this opportunity to design that then to not to design to actually to draw it here so um it turned out that the idea of having this 3d circuits as uh, uh, introduced in minecraft makes absolutely perfect sense and i just couldn't realize that at start because ultimately we can do this like the layer like the wire can go just like up and then like this and then another wire can go like below that one and so on so we have we might have really complicated structures which which is really cool so i didn't really ever think that one day i would need to like learn how the 3D graphics work and how to make a uh, rasterizer through this application that sort of a uh, transfers uh like converts the data that the of the 3D object like literally the co the coordinates of the vertices into the two dimensional projection and this process process is known as rasterization. So I've been looking for some tutorials online and the best ever one I came up with was this one by Javid, uh, Javid 9X or Javid X9, uh, also known as One Lone Coder. So I've been following his like raycasting tutor tutorials uh, back in the day that helped me to create my own like a bit more simplified tutorials at that exact topic and I even once made sort of a Wolfenstein 3D uh, clone it's not really but yeah just the ray caster and you could have like had the textured walls you could work around like uh even see the enemies like the sprites being rendered and you could even kill those that the soldier dying animation was implemented as well but this one is uh unlikely the ray casting this uh rasterizer is the true 3d like the true like the true three-dimensional sort of a thing so literally what minecraft is uh just uh like a bunch of stones so you can like move around the stones you can create stones and destroy stones that's ultimately what the minecraft is all about so obviously i would need to implement some logic to make the stones sort of a like the wires that current can be flowing within like in, in the original minecraft obviously it's made like probably like this uh, redstone thin like more like a texture on the block so it's way more complicated and like the logic is way more complicated because ultimately Minecraft is not for building circuits although it's possible that but it just has much more I would say analog features like uh, the signal drops down like by the, the 16th cell if I'm not mistaken so just like first it's just strong that it gets lower lower then so you need to multiply the signal if the wire would be really long so anyway, uh, I needed to find this sort of a role model for my for the, for the very basic rasterizer. So all I need is to be able to render cubes, then I need to texture those, and I need to move the camera around. That's pretty much all. But also, obviously, I need to be able to like create and delete those. But it's it's like too far at the moment. So the very first tutorial, uh, like 3D graphics engine part one, triangles and projections. So uh, here, uh, Javid 9X explains in great details the math behind how this thing works, like how to like, uh, literally translate this, like the 3D coordinates into the 
two-dimensional plane, uh, which I didn't quite understand the math behind it because I'm really sucking math. But anyway, um, the problem with this, uh, look, it's perfect, uh, apart one little thing. So it's written in C++ and it involves uh, what it calls uh, OLC game engine, if I'm not mistaken, which is uh, his own library that I've created to render graphics in console on Windows. So there are some ports like SDL and OpenGL ports, like so you can run in Linux. Like I, I would have need that if I, if I wanted to. But even easier making this uh, would be like in pure JavaScript, which I did, and which is the exact thing I wanted to share with you guys in this video. So. Um, I just don't want to run the video to avoid like uh, copyright claims or something so you can just watch it and this video doesn't really need in advertising at least uh, on such a small channel as mine because like above 1 million views already like for within how many years July for like 2018 like four years for now so without further ado just let me give you an idea so we have this exact rotating coupe so it works exactly the same as here on Javits video so um, yeah and uh, just a few words in regards to the code and obviously the link is going to be available uh, in the description below so um, the only kind of difference is Definitions, I believe. So the definitions are different because we have like like in C plus plus you need to first to, de to de declare the structure. Well, also I didn't use the object oriented approach because there is just no need for this in such a small application. And like the cube definitions are are the same. So just to give you a quick idea, so all of the data structures are available here. So here is the cube mesh. Uh, here is the method to multiply matrices. So it's a little bit different. So instead of having this vector object with X, Y, and Z, I just have the list with like three elements. So if I want to reference X, I say like, so I and O stands for input and output. So if say I want to, uh, I want to reference uh, the X coordinate of uh, the int of the output. So, uh, output indexed by zero which gives the very first coordinate like which is the x coordinate so hopefully that makes sense and the reason for doing this uh because like objects in javascript are very slow and since uh 3d graphics assuming that this is the software rendering it just processing power consuming so i try to make the data structures as as fast as i could so like using the plain arrays is just faster as opposed to like um, the objects and although here probably like uh, doesn't affect anything but anyway so th this is this is probably the only difference and everything uh, else like the rest of things should be fairly the same well I have the custom draw triangle because he was using the draw triangle for, from his uh, old C game engine uh, so here I'm, I'm just using the canvas element like yeah obviously I'm canvas uh, two, two dimensional context so it doesn't require like video cards, I believe, so it should be like purely like software rendering, I believe. And what else? So this is pretty much all about it. So like uh, as a bit different definition for the angle change. So by minimizing this value, you can make uh, it rotating slower, or by maximizing it, might just rotates faster. The rotation matrices are the same and yeah so all the math all the logic is literally a copy paste from his project but just just to make sure that just uh like comfortable with the javascript and with the, some somewhat a bit out of data structures that i have here so not really about like being an original work or something so it's absolutely kind of code monkey king stuff so just grab someone else else's code for my own purposes and I'm really like excited by this code because it's so small, it's so simple, it li literally does like everything that I need. Um, I'm going to follow the tutorials like probably the next one as well with the textures and moving the camera. I don't need, probably don't need some more, more complicated things. But if I do, uh, I will also post some updates. So uh, the least thing that I can do here is just to give a credit, which I do. 
so yeah so that no one thinks that i'm so smart that i could have come out with this sort of a thing on that obviously i couldn't but yeah from now on we can make use of like see how this very first tutorial kind of works without me need to install c plus plus like uh doing all of the, all, all the things you just can go to the link and just navigate there and just see this rotating cube it's now uh, it's not online yet it's, uh, i would put this on github and just update so there would be a link in the description to both to how this works and to the source code this is from my side guys thanks for watching see you later and cheers